having a coup at work. I read a thing on here earlier and it reminded me of my favorite MC I had the pleasure of being a part of. About 10 or so years ago my father helped me get hired at the manufacturing company he worked at. I worked hard and instantly joined the union they had. After working there a few years I was working as an operator and I knew all the machines we had and was learning how to repair, maintain them all as well. The company loved to make the operators work a lot of hours. 60 plus hour weeks but we managed and the union got us double time after 60 and any time on a Sunday. The only caveat was we were allowed one weekend a month that we did not need to work and we all usually agreed on the weekend or drew lots. One month we were crazy busy. Every machine operator was working 7 days a week at least 12 hours a day. And we felt it. We came to the last weekend and assumed that meant no work and a much needed break. Until the plant manager posted that we all had mandatory OT again. We demanded our representative sort it and ended up having an all hands meeting. The plant manager screamed and told us we were all lazy and with what we make we should be begging to work more. And our union representative slapped down the contract with that part highlighted. The plant manager said, let me make it easy for you louses. Any machine operator that is not here this weekend better find a new job. We all looked at each other and nodded. Confirmed the representative heard that and went back to our machines. That following Monday, we agreed to turn them off or ignore all their calls for the weekend. Our phones exploded. Apparently the union already started on them for wrongful termination and violation of the contract. Then we all said, per our meeting you fired me so no I am not coming in. Funny enough we were, rehired, with a higher pay and the union demanded an amendment to the contract that limited work weeks to 6 days up to 70 hours a week. Topping off all of it. We came back that Thursday to a party announcing our new plant managers. Because they fired all of upper management and brought in a whole new team. Edit since I explained poorly. We got over time after 40 hours a week and double time for anything after 60 hours. That's not malicious compliance. That malicious destruction of a terrible system. You and your crew are awesome and the fact everyone was in makes this the most malicious compliance I have seen in this sub. Congrats! This highlights something that can and does happen when one is dealing with a highly skilled workforce with a highly marketable skill set. Someone with marketable skills can find a new job very quickly. And if f they have been in their trade for any time at all. They know exactly where they can get it. The employer needs those people a lot more than those people need the specific employer. This creates a potential situation that I like to call, collective quitting. It isn't collective. Bargaining. You aren't saying that you will stop working for a little while or slow down production. There won't be picketing or any form of demonstration. People just quit permanently and en masse. It's like a run on the bank. I've seen companies get hollowed out within a day. And it's not a strike. Those workers aren't coming back. They are just gone. They will likely have a new job before the end of the week if they didn't arrange for one the day. They walked out. There is also the sudden bleed out. A few of these skilled people leave for another employer. Who probably has multiple openings. The first worker who leaves calls his friends informing him of the deal he got and how many other slots they have to fill. And, once again, they aren't coming back. The op could probably make good on the threat. If this coup didn't work, he could probably find a new job before he ran into any real problems. Especially since it was an actual dismissal and he could file for unemployment in the U.S. Fafo, sincerely, the union rep. Well done. Power to the people. This story needs more attention. Perfect example of the power of unions. 
Do not F with the union. That's what contracts are for. Sure this in our unions if you haven't already. Companies that have unions deserve unions. Power to the people. Thank you op. This is the kind of story I subbed for. A master class in MC. Bravo. I am so glad that I left a right to work state and moved to a union state. My union was awesome and I'm eternally grateful to them. Go unions. I don't want to mess with the union. I hate unions. However I'm all for them. Don't forget I said that. Del Murdoch. Personable owner of Dell's stereo and sound. Power to the unions, brother. What kind of idiot management would want to mess with unions like that? Did they expect the company to back them and get sued into the ground? I'm not always pro-union because I've seen them all too often transform into a money-making new set of bosses that don't do anything positive. This, however, is exactly the type of union I am for. Solidarity works. So glad I live in Europe, we have laws preventing this. No strikes needed. You have to work more than 5 days a week? You have to work more than 40 hours a week? That sounds like a terrible contract. What a powerful testament to solidarity and the importance of standing up for your rights. It's inspiring to see how you and your co-workers banded together under overwhelming stress to advocate for fair working conditions. It underscores the magnitude of collective action. How did participating in this situation impact your views on workplace rights and union involvement? OT after 60 hours. I get it after 37.5 hours. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.